after a very successful draft for the Golden State Warriors is now currently being reported that the Warriors could have other moves in potentially acquiring some of the previously rumored players they have been interested in. Then most notably, they've been interested in for the last couple months seems to be Kelly Oubre Jr. with it now actually currently being reported that the Golden State Warriors are nearing a deal with the Oklahoma City Thunder to potentially acquire Kelly Oubre Jr. This is all being reported by Woj. He also goes on to say that the Warriors will absorb Oubre Jr. and his 14.4 million salary into their 17.2 million trade exception once the deal is done. Warriors are expected to send a draft composition to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Oubre, who was recently acquired in the deal with the Suns for Chris Paul. The tax bill on Oubre's salary is staggering at $68 million. Now, this is very, very interesting to me because honestly, I don't know how the Golden State Warriors are going to make this happen because yes, Woj has just talked about a trade exception that is, I believe, $14 million of the $17 million will be acquired in the trade, you know, exception if he does go forward with this deal or the Golden State Warriors do go forward with this deal rather. But I, I still don't see how a team of Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins and Steph Curry, Clay Thompson and James Wiseman now all go together. Like, if we look at Andrew Wiggins, he's on around $30 million per season. Clay Thompson, I believe, is on about $30 to $35 million. Steph Curry, I believe, will be going on to about $40 million or so. Draymond Green is going to be sitting on around $25 million per season, I believe. And James Wiseman as well, I think, will be signing an $8 to $10 million contract for about four years. And not just that, they still have players like Kevon Looney, etc., who are on about $5 million per season. So they are by far at the moment uh, in front of really everyone and how much of their salary cap has been taken up, how much they have gone over their salary cap. And you're telling me they're going to continue to do that with Kali Ubre Jr. So that is absolutely insane to me. What I assume they will do is I don't really feel like they will be uh, trading their next year's first round pick. The reason I don't believe that is because that could actually be a very, very huge risk. For example, right now it is currently being reported that Clay Thompson will be out for the season um, with an Achilles injury, which is extremely unfortunate. And my heart goes out to him. I hope that he can get better and that we'll eventually see him on the NBA court very soon. But this is kind of sh heading into a way where you know, in the previous season, Clay Thompson was out for an ACL injury, and then it was only until Steph Curry was out for pretty much the whole season, I believe, with an ankle injury that the Golden State Warriors only won around 15 games with Draymond Green and D'Angelo Russell. Yes, now you swap D'Lo for Wiggins, which is probably a downgrade, and then you bring in, you know, James Wiseman and maybe Kali Oubre. But still, a starting five of what could potentially be whoever they go out and sign a point guard. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre at shooting, uh, small forward, Draymond Green at power forward, and James Wiseman at center. Though, a lot of those players are role players that rely on players like Steph Curry and Clay to be good, especially Draymond Green. So, for them to, you know, roll out with that team... I don't know if that team will win more than 30 or 35 games, which means they could have another top 10 pick next season, especially if Steph Curry goes down with another injury. Now, let's just obviously say Steph Curry doesn't go down with an injury, then I do expect them to be very much contending. But you just can't rely on Steph not to go down with an injury, especially after he's missed all this time, and especially after Clay Thompson has just been put out for a whole season yet again. You just can't rely on this to really happen at all. So I feel like that it would be a massive risk to give up their next year's first. I think what they will do is they will give up their 2022 first round pick and maybe a couple other second round picks or something like that. I feel like that is what could get the deal done for with OKC. As it is reported that OKC have shopped him around and all they've been offered so far is a first round pick. So, where that kind of sits in is a very, very big, I'm not exactly too sure on what as well Kali Oubre is worth and should the Golden State Warriors draw, you know, trade a future first round pick to potentially acquire him for the team. Obviously, my standings is no, I don't believe they should trade next year's first round pick just based on the fact that all the risks, you know, that are attached to it. 
right now, if they do Cali, if they do get Cali Ubre, that is an insane starting five. Like no one can argue that a starting five of Steph Curry at point guard, Andrew Wiggins at shooting guard, Cali Ubre Jr. at small forward, Draymond Green at power forward, and James Wiseman at center. No one can really argue not that that is definitely. I'd say that's a a fourth seeded team, maybe even higher. That could definitely be you know a one to four seeded team in the Western Conference, especially if they can get a good bench coming in. The issue is, if Steph Curry gets injured, they go from around a 50-win team to about a 35-30-win to 30 win team. Because, again, Draymond Green relies on Steph Curry to be there. He is really only good when he's playing with Klay Thompson and Steph Curry. When he's not playing with them, he's not exactly the greatest. I feel like James Wiseman will definitely need players like Steph Curry on the team. Kelly Oubre Jr. and Andrew Wiggins will just be the same with Steph Curry if they had him or not. But again, it's going to be extremely interesting to see how this goes. There are a lot of risks attached to this for the Golden State Warriors. Not just that, they could be going over the salary quite a bit. Now, what actually would I do if I was the Oklahoma City Thunder? If the Golden State Warriors want a clear cap, and look, I'm not going to say they will do this because I don't believe they will. I believe Golden State are very, very happy with Draymond Green. He's a fran he's been a franchise player for them. They have been extremely happy with them. They're very loyal with him. I don't feel like they'll really ever trade him. But I'm just saying, if Golden State actually are uh, kind of saying to themselves, well, we want to clear a little bit of cap because of the Clay Thompson injury now, and we don't feel like Draymond will be as effective without Clay again, then if I'm go if I'm OKC okay, and I'm being offered Draymond Green and a first round pick for Cali Oubre, I'm probably even doing that one as well because even though Draymond Green's on a very, very overpaid contract and he was very, very bad last season, I still feel like if you give Draymond Green the right pieces around him and give him some decent players, he could still be pretty beneficial. Like, again, I'm not saying that Draymond will get traded, but a team of, like, the Redemption Squad on OKC, we saw the Redemption Squad where they rolled out Gallinari and Chris Paul, etc., who kind of redeemed themselves. Now, I feel like they're going to be doing the exact same thing where they'll have El Horford now at that center position. If they keep Kelly Oubre, he's going to definitely want to, you know, show he still has all-star potential. Um, you know, again, he did average 18 points per game, which I feel like some people forget. They'll also, I feel like, go out and they'll probably trade for some big contracted point guard that a team won't want. You know, here and there as well. Like, look, OKC are reportedly in talks to take on so much money from all these teams. So, again, Draymond Green could be a part of that redemption squad. I'm just saying it would be a pretty interesting thing. But, yeah, I do feel like Draymond will be on the Golden State Warriors for quite a while. I don't believe they're going to be trading him. I'm just saying if I was the Oklahoma City Thunder, I would definitely be looking at Draymond Green as a potential, you know, traded player that they could really get. But at the end of the day, it does look like the Warriors are only interested in trading picks for Cali Oubre. I honestly feel very bad, you know, for Clay Thompson that he will miss another season. I feel bad that the Warriors are going to be paying this guy $60 million to not even play a game, really, which, again, is pretty bad for Golden State, and I'm, you know, very bad for Clay. It's very, very unfortunate. Um, but again, yeah, Golden State just got to figure out what they're going to do now, because right now, now that Clay's out, geez, I don't know how they are going to potentially go at all. But again, getting a starting five of Steph Curry at point guard, Andrew Wiggins at shooting guard, Kelly Oubre at small forward, Draymond Green at power forward, and James Wise on at center. It does actually sound very fun and something I would definitely be excited to watch on the court. And I guess if they could go out and get some nice bench players here and there as well, they could definitely be a threat in the West, even without, you know, potentially having Clay Thompson on the team. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on the Golden State Warriors being interested in Cali Oubre Jr.? Do you guys think they should go out and trade for him? Do you guys think that'd be a bad idea? Do you guys think that'd be a good idea? Again, I'd definitely really like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But of course, don't forget to subscribe you know, to this channel for the latest sports content and NBA content. Don't forget to subscribe to my, NBA, uh, my gaming channel rather, and my uh, IRL slash following channels. And don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.